Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of composing and decomposing numbers. That is standard 3.2a in the state of Texas. And we are using item number 21 from the 2018 star release test. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and take a moment, pause the video to try to solve this problem. When you have your answer, unpause it. And we'll come back together and check your work. So this is expanded notation. Expanded notation is kind of like, but not quite the same as expanded form. So it takes a number and it blows it up. It expands it. But expanded notation is going to be the digit times the value of its place. So that's why we have a times 10,000, times 100, times 10. So we're looking for the standard form. That's just the number written in words. And we've got four different options. They all have a 9 and a 4 one and a zero or possibly two zeros. So let's see how we can solve this. The long way is to literally just turn this into an equation. So nine times 10,000. So we've got, let's see, we've got 10,000. Let's multiply that by nine. So you might not have ever done a five by one multiplication, but it's just the same as five by uh, 3 by 1 or 2 by 1. You're just going to multiply 9 times 0 is 9, 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 and then 9 times 1 is 90. So that's 90,000. Now I've got 100 times 4. You probably know that as a fact, or as multiples of 10, which is the shortcut, but we'll get there in a second. So now we've got 400, so let's go ahead and line that up right here. 400, and then 10 times 1. Hopefully we've got that as a fact. That's 10. So if we put this right here, and we just let's just put some lines just to make sure there's an awful lot of zeros. I'm just going to kind of do this, and we are going to get ninety thousand. Let's put our comma down there, four hundred ten. So here is the correct answer. Now that is the long way of doing it. How can we do it an easier way? Well. What we probably want to do, if we want to do it easier way, is just look at place value. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put five dashes right here. And I'm going to label these. This is my ones. This is my tens. This is my hundreds. I'm going to put a comma here because this is the ones period. Or the ones family. Now we're over here. We're in the thousands family. So I'm going to put 1,000, I'm going to put 10,000. And now I'm going to look at my three different numbers. Because if you think about it, this right here times 10,000, that actually tells you which place value to put the 9 in. The 10,000s place, which is this one right here. This is my 10,000s. It's 5 over, so this is where we need to know our place value. So I can simply put a 9 in that 10,000th place, because it tells me to do that. My next place is the hundreds place. And so here's my hundreds place right here. And so it tells me to put a four in the hundreds place. And then last, it tells me to put a one in the tens place. So times 10, we've got one right there. So I've got a nine, a blank, a four, a one, and a blank. So you don't have any value in the thousands place, put a zero. In the ones place, put a zero. So that's an easier way to solve the problem. You can also just do it as a multiplication problem. Let's look at some of these incorrect answers. So our correct answer is 90,410. Let's look at A. You see how we've got 410 correct? So this is correct here. The problem is this 9. They put this 9 in the thousands place, but as you see here, the 9 should go in the Ten thousands. So that's the correct problem there. B has got all kinds of problems here. The nine looks good. The one looks good. But it's this four that's in the wrong spot. This four is in the thousand spot in B. But you see this four, it's four times one hundred, not a thousand. So that's the issue there. And C is almost correct, but it's got one little itty bitty problem right there. It's that one. But the 1 is not times 1, the 1 is times 10. So that's why C is incorrect.